Raleigh is an amazing, vibrant city with tons of things to do. But the question remains, where should you live? I'm going to break it down for you right here in this video. The best places for you to live in Raleigh, North Carolina. Hi, Chris Morton here with eXp Realty. Today in this video, we're going to break down the different sections of Raleigh, North Carolina, give you an idea about what housing is like in that area, the shopping, the restaurants, the things to do, basically anything you need to know to help make a better decision about what part of Raleigh to move to. So with that being said, let's get started. First up is downtown Raleigh. Downtown Raleigh is it's very vibrant, exciting, lots of shops, lots of restaurants, very, very walkable area. Some of the best restaurants and bars we have here in the city are in downtown Raleigh, including a couple of food halls, Transfer and Morgan Street, which are full of really cool restaurants inside of these buildings. Great opportunity to try lots of different kinds of food. Now with all the really cool things to do, Housing, unfortunately, in downtown Raleigh it tends to be a little bit more on the expensive side. We do have apartments down there, condos, townhomes, and detached homes, but the detached homes are going to be on a little bit smaller lot, going to be a little bit more expensive. Homes in this area range from 170,000 all the way up to 3 million, with the average being about 650,000. You're going to see typically an older home sitting right beside a brand new home. What's happened is they've taken one of the older homes, torn it down, and put a brand new home on the lot much, much bigger, obviously, and that's how we're ending up with those $3 million prices down there. Next up, we have Midtown. Midtown is between downtown Raleigh and North Raleigh. It's a really very cool, vibrant area, mixed use area. You're going to see a couple of major shopping centers in this area, Crabtree Valley Mall, which is our, one of our largest regional malls here in the Raleigh area, as well as the mixed use North Hills development that's got apartments, condos, detached homes around it, and tons and tons of shopping. Also in this area, you have Wegmans, Trader Joe's, Costco. So as you can imagine, people come to the area for shopping as well as great places to live. As I said, there's a lot of apartments here in, in the Midtown area, as well as condos and single family homes. Single family homes are typically gonna be on a little bit larger lot than you find downtown. And you're still going to see those 1970s, 1980s homes right next to a brand new home. Homes in this section of Raleigh range from 106,000 up to 4 million, with the average being about 889 right now. The next section I want to talk about is West Raleigh. At the core of West Raleigh is NC State University, so you're going to see lots of college kids in this area, but the area has way more than just college scene going on. The State Farmers Market, which runs seven days a week, is here in West Raleigh as is the NC State Fairgrounds. PNC Arena is in West Raleigh, which is where NC State basketball and the Carolina Hurricanes hockey team play. Also in West Raleigh is Cameron Village, a mixed use area that has tons of apartments, shopping, restaurants, really, really cool area that brings people in from everywhere. As far as housing goes in West Raleigh, you're gonna find apartments, condos, townhomes, and detached homes. And just like you find in downtown Raleigh and Midtown, West Raleigh has a lot of older, charming homes as well as brand new homes right beside it that they've taken an older home and torn down. Right now as we're filming this, homes in West Raleigh range from about 110,000 all the way up to 3 million with the average being about 660,000. Next up you have South Raleigh. Now, South Raleigh is not known for its shopping, restaurants, things to do, that sort of thing. It's mostly the chain restaurants that you're going to find in this area. However, it does have one great advantage. It has amazing, easy access to downtown Raleigh with all of the shopping and restaurants that downtown has. Now, nothing is official yet, but there's plans underway for a professional soccer arena and entertainment district in the South Raleigh area. And if that does indeed come to pass, you're gonna see increased housing and increased restaurants and things to do in that area. Housing prices in South Raleigh tend to be a little bit less expensive than most parts of Raleigh with Homes ranging currently between $165,000 and $590,000, with the average being $324,000. Next up, we have East Raleigh. We've also included Northeast Raleigh into this because they pretty much run together. This side of Raleigh has quite a few parks and green spaces, and the Raleigh Greenway runs from one end of it to the other. For shopping, you have a lot of strip malls in this area, as well as Triangle Town Center Mall, which is at the corner of Capitol Boulevard and 540. There's also a lot of restaurants in this area as well. Housing tends to be a little bit less expensive here in this area, and in fact, it draws in quite a few first-time home buyers. 
There's still land to be developed in North East, East Raleigh. And in fact, we're seeing a good number of townhomes pop up as well as still some single family detached homes. The homes in this section of Raleigh are currently ranging between 95,000 and 750,000 with the average being 345,000. Last but not least, we have North Raleigh. North Raleigh is a very large section of Raleigh with lots of different areas inside of it. When you're thinking about the suburbs, you're thinking about North Raleigh. And there's a lot of things to do here in this area. Umstead Park is here, which is a lot like Central Park in New York City, except it's a lot more foresty. As well, Falls Lake is in this part of Raleigh with boating and hiking and all the trails around it. There's lots of restaurants and shopping in North Raleigh. And I one in particular I want to tell you about is Lafayette Village. It's a European themed shopping and restaurant complex that is at the corner of Falls of Noose and 540, very easily accessible to anybody that lives up in the North Raleigh area. There's plenty of different kinds of housing in North Raleigh, ranging from a, right now 150,000 for a townhome, all the way up to three and a half million for a large home. Average price we're seeing right now is 711,000 for this part of Raleigh. You're seeing some teardowns, but there's still some new construction going on as well. Well, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe, and if you have any questions, you can either comment below or email us at info at themortongroup.com. That's all we got for you today. Hope you have a great one. Bye-bye.